I went to my family's church today. Um, I think maybe it was a week or two ago. We actually had the celebration for 144 years. It's been 144 years that my family's church has been here in East Side Wilmington. And you know what I was thinking? It's like, like, damn, I wish, I wish I would have met my great grandfather or my great grandfather who whoever was the originator of the idea of, yo, this is what we need to do. We're gonna build this church in Delaware and we're gonna, like, I, I wish I could ask them, you know, for the blueprint, the roadmap. I, I wish that I could ask them for the vision because vision is, vision is the most important thing for everything. And, and the reason why I say that is because here's 144 years later, they not here I'm here. I'm I'm seeing it. I'm looking at something that was maybe planned 150 years ago or even 160. I, I don't even know. I wasn't there. But the point is, visions live forever. Visions outlive the person who has it. Visions can change the world. As I take more spins around this earth, you know, we call them birthdays or years or whatever, whatever you want to, you know, call it. As I take more time, right, as I more steps, more spins, I get more clarity. I get more understanding. And honestly, I, I realize that the spin is the only way to get clarity because in a moment when you're going through these things, right, or when you're, you're growing through them, you're not even fully understanding what's happening. You're not even fully processing, you know, the after effect of the now because we're in the now. So we don't even know what our tomorrow is looking like. We're, we're really in our nows. And I do know this about vision. I do know that, you know, with the vision, the vision will help you to see your tomorrows. The vision will help you to to write out in your mind what you believe your tomorrows are to be so when we wake up in these tomorrows it's not we're being exposed to something for the first time but it's if, if we really had a vision and a plan it's just us validating what we believed yesterday now i know some of this may go over some people's heads and honestly this is the reason why i don't really talk is because like i'm in a space now where my understanding is clearer than ever i, I honestly really don't even like talking like I love I love people I love communicating but I don't even like talking I, there's times where I'm about to say something and like I just run out of breath I just lose like energy it's just all it, I feel like there's it takes more for me to try to say something to somebody than for it to just be right and that's mainly because when something is right when you have a vision you have clarity there's nothing that needs to be said so imagine how powerful vision would be if it was spread on a universal level where everybody understood, you know, what the plan was, where they were going, what they wanted to do, what the mission was. Imagine if everybody agreed and understood that and stayed true to it. We would, I wouldn't even be doing this right now. I wouldn't need that English, the languages, the spells, whatever. We wouldn't even be doing this. We just we would just know what to do. Think about you know music. It's a vibration. You know we sang through slavery. We we didn't talk and say hey yo this is what to do. You know it's so communication is has, has always been here and, it, and it's really and it's really been up to us to really use it for its truest value. And I just really wish. Well you know what I guess by sitting here saying this I'm not really wishing because I'm understanding what their mission is. I'm actually walking into myself now because I can almost guarantee. That anything you build, you want to live forever, right? You want to live forever, right? Anything you build, nobody builds something because they want it to be gone tomorrow, right? So I guess we could take away from this that the vision is the most important part of everything. It's not even it's not even the fact if it happens, it's not even the results, right? The results don't even matter. It's the vision. It's the vision. Actually, it's the you can't get a result without seeing it first, right? You can't get anything without seeing it. So the vision, the vision is where we need to start. The vision is where I hope each and every one of you start. I don't know what it is you want to do. You don't know what it is I want to do. 
But you know what simplifies this whole process of not understanding and not knowing what each other wants to do? Having a vision and having clarity on it. Because the moment you have a vision and you have clarity on it, you can act on it, right? And in this place, this place can't do anything else, anything else, but give you exactly what you're putting out. It, if I wake up and I'm, I'm, I'm angry, I'm in a pissed off mood, well, it has to reflect some pissed off things, right? So I'm gonna see some angry people, right? If, I, if I'm living in this dark side and no offense to the dark side because I come from it, I welcome it, you know, I embrace it, I love it, 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 it got me to where I am. Actually, I wouldn't be able to see the light if I didn't know about dark, so, but if I'm living in this dark world, right? And I don't have vision for what I plan to do to get out of it. Where do you think I'm going to go? Same thing for your job, right? If you're working this job and you just started, you just were looking first, you know, the plan was I just need something. I just need money. I need some income coming in, right? I got income coming in. That's all I can care about. Where do you think you're going to end up if you don't have a vision, right? For that job. If you don't have a plan for how you plan to over exceed your position, because here's the truth. Here's the truth. Here's the truth. Nine times out of ten, eventually, with time, more spins, everybody ends up feeling overworked and underpaid or undervalued, right? Or their depreciation drops because they've been doing something and their and their expectations of the response isn't what they want. But here's the truth of it all, right? When you got a vision, when you got a vision, you won't have to look for results. You won't you won't have to wait for expectations. You won't have to wait for validation. You won't have to wait for praise because you already know the mission. And that's where the praise comes from for me because I really believe my great grandfather had a had, had a strong vision, and honestly, this is him probably speaking right now, which is so lit because, you know, challenge accepted, mission understood. I'm here, I'm present, and I hope that each and every one of you are too. So, all all I can say is, man, have a vision. Have a look. If you don't have one now, I know a lot of people don't. I didn't, you know, which is which is crazy when you think about it. Because we're just going around this earth, not even knowing what we really want from it. Not no, knowing what you really, really want from it. Like we're really going around this earth, not knowing what we really want, what our purpose is, why we're here. Like what, yo, what what do you think all of this is? You think it's a coincidence? You think it's by chance your heart is beating? You think it's by chance you you remember to breathe every single second? You think it's by chance? None of this is by chance. None of this is by chance. And the truth is, we may never understand what this is, but what I can tell you, that doesn't matter as much as you having a vision for what you want to make of it. If we were supposed to know what this is, we would already have one concrete answer, but we don't. So all I can tell you is have a vision for what you want this to be. Have a vision for your heaven on this earth. Have a vision for what you want your great, great, great grandchildren to walk into. Because I can honestly tell you my great grandfather did. Today I experienced it. And now I'm here sharing the information, sharing the validation that a vision is the most important part of everything. So I hope you guys can build that. I hope you guys can use this information. Somebody, I don't know who's listening. I don't I, honestly, this ain't for somebody. It's for any and everybody. It's for everything. So I hope that this touched somebody. This is your boy Seuss Villiano, better known as Jamar Johnson. And I see you at the top because the bottom's way too crowded. Peace.